Uh, today I got to finish a part in Bobcat version 25. We're working off a solid model. Basically, I have the part, the blank. I just have to do the scalloped area here. So I ran some 3D code here. And it uh, looks pretty good. Measures just fine. So I'm going on to the final operation, which is at this area here. It's a deep slot pocket. And I'm going to 3D contour this scalloped area here as well. So the first thing I did was define a stock model. So I extracted the edges off the model, cleaned them up a little bit, and then drew from flat geometry. You can hardly see it. I drew a solid model. So then I use that as my stock model and I drew a little bit of geometry here. <coughs> From the extracted edges, it's actually my toolpath. And I decided to create my own toolpath and use the <coughs> engrave 3D function so I could work on these sections here and clean this away first come over here clean this section away this area here until it all comes down to this blue line here then I can just step down and clear out all the bottom I think the simulation will be a lot easier to see. So basically, I had to draw all that geometry. That's actual physical geometry. Because I either overlooked how to do this in V25 automatically, uh, I just knew that this would be the best way for me to machine it. So I'll go ahead and simulate. <clears throat> I'm going to toggle a couple buttons here and they'll get rid of this solid model. <clears throat> and we're only looking at <clears throat> simulation view. So we've got a half mil plowing through there, ball nose. And then we start digging into the slot. Like I said, I want to get rid of this material first. And I want to get rid of this material. You notice I'm only going up with the ball. I don't want to go down and snap it. Then I go into my third engraved path. That's actually cleaning out the entire bottom. So I dress the left, dress the right, and then I can trough through the whole thing. And speed it up. And throw in the pockets. So then I can Make it transparent for you, turn off the toolpath, and you can kind of see what I dug out. And that's how I use Bobcad V25 Mil Pro.